Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Shadow Star here on Marksman72 for my PlayStation ID, and welcome to my newest Let's Play series. And in this video, I'm going to be doing part one for my Let's Play series of Ma Mass Effect Andromeda. This, Ma this Let's Play series for Mass Effect Andromeda is also going to be serving as a preview for when I actually get around to doing my Let's Play series for Mass Effect The Legendary Edition, the entire trilogy of it. And also, I wanted to also show off Mass Effect Andromeda as well. I don't know the exact timeline for Mass Effect Andromeda on when they left the Milky Way galaxy and crossed dark space to go in to travel to the Andromeda galaxy. A few short, short story points you need to know. One, a new galaxy, new protagonist. You get the choice of, again, you get the choice of a male or female protagonist. In this one, I'm going to be doing male protagonist just to show everybody it's a male person playing this um yeah you're gonna be playing as the someone from the Ryder family who was shunned by the by the citizens of the milky way galaxy because of his research into his own ai technology deep breath you're gonna want to take it easy uh one a key area which this differs from the original Mass Effect trilogy, even though <coughs> the, the original Mass Effect trilogy is still better, is still better than this because when this came out, it was still slightly rushed. But I still like the gameplay and storyline anyway. You get the you get the option of switching between character classes. So you got the basic soldier, you got the adept, engineer, sentinel, vanguard, infiltrator etc you get the idea you also got the rpg elements as well in this so when you're engaged in conversations like you're gonna be in a second <coughs> sorry i got something stuck in my throat right now i just wish they spent a little bit more time on this it could have been so much more but they had to, i don't know why the hell they had to rush at this Again, when you're engaging in RPG conversations, here's the tone choice. You got emotional, logical, casual, and professional. And for this one, I'm going to be going um, for the not logical or professional. I'm going to be going for easy is no fun. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said, Bossy motherfucker, the isn't he? Any idea why? No, but Even I though the current Pathfinder at the moment happens to be the okay, the father of the person who's on Just the medical bay right now. So, Let's not, not him. Sam, so, Scott Ryder, the person I'm, I'll be playing as, Sam, the current Pathfinder right? happens to be his own yes, man. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? 
Also, if I do make some weird choices in this, it's because I want... In this, such as... I will be choosing my implant, it's just to give everybody an insight of what exactly is going on. As well, and how we how everybody is able to communicate with Sam, the AI that's currently appearing above the medical bay right now. Also in this, you do get the option of having a scanner as well to scan the environment, to gain information about your surroundings, enemies, etc. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling mm. otherwise? Still defrosted from 600 years. What the fuck do you think? I feel like a 600 year old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Greetings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the new in English, please. Properly. Wait, Adena, what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Oh, good. I hate sitting around and waiting around. Sitting and waiting around. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? What the fuck is that? Sorry, I need to scratch my nose. What's happening? Just hang on. Again, you also get uh, control tutorials in this. So, uh, so right and long stick is just to rotate the camera. Oh, one other thing I did forget to mention. Again, in this game, you do get companions joining you along your mission as well. And here's one of them right now. Cora Harper. Uh, she's officially she's the second in command. Uh, we have a problem over here. Oh, uh, shit. Again, one other th detail I forgot to mention is whichever car sibling you choose to play as, say, for example, the brother I'm playing as, the sister, who is currently being awoken from her uh, cry cryogenic uh, nap. She get hit. She gets hit by the phenomenon that the ship just went through, and she gets put into a coma. And she will. She has to take the long way around while waking up. She did. She hasn't died, but she will be waking up later on. Maki gets a longer nap. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. I'll wait for you at the door whenever you're ready to go. Okay, time to get this motherfucking disaster under control. Okay, let's see what else. Let's see what everybody else has to say. Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. Right. Also, I should mention another one of the companions that will be joining you is the guy, the doctor, the medical official is currently scanning. Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. His name is Liam Costa. Hang in there. And you do also get data pads and entries to read along the way. I will go into detail on how you can access those on a later video. Yeah, lacking details. I don't know what to say. And of course, if you want to read these in more detail, uh, just hit the pause button and then you're more than welcome to continue reading. I should also give everybody a heads up. If I do hesitate or stutter with any of my sentences, being an autistic individual, talking is not one of my strongest points, but I do try anyway. Uh, oh crap, what the fuck is... Oh shit. 
Oh boy. Also, I should mention, if I do stay silent during certain cutscenes and or gameplay sections, for the cutscenes, it's because I want to give everybody a chance to hear what is going on during the cutscenes, and for the gameplay sections, it's because I'm trying to stay focused while sh taking out the enemies. So here's one of the new features that they implemented into Mass Effect Andromeda, the scanner. For example, you scan the environment, see, see what's wrong with the power surge. So, bad relay. Sorry, I just need to re readjust my hat. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Now to go to the bridge to see what the fuck is going on. See if the old man can give us any more fucking details. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. All right then. See what's going on on the bridge. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. Oh, fuck. What's our position? And there's the Pathfinder, the old man Same. of... We need eyes Scott Ryder, the person I'm currently playing as. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake wow. up. Can you blame her? If the captain's in charge, I think she gets the final call. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. Are you fucking All serious of our right now? Scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. Again, the tone choice whenever you're making a decision RPG decision. For this one, I'm going to be choosing a logical choice. I'm not going to be doing an emotional one. Looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. You are right about that, writer. From the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are on there. We're maroon. Twenty thousand souls adrift at sea. When the power I gotta say, out, Clancy Brown did an out. amazing job voicing we need to writer senior, Sen Sen senior, or well, senior. Sorry about that. Control. Almost uh, got a bit tongue tied there. But if this goes well, we are already home. Well, how the fuck are you gonna do that? <laughs> With uh, right. any power Let's to the ship? Quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet fallen thirty. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Yeah, during their tenure back in the Milky Way galaxy, the Ryder family, shall we say, wasn't really a close-knit family because the old man who just went off to get ready... He was not more, he was not a talkative person. He preferred going out and doing stuff. Those genetic traits passed on to his children. 
but they try to be a little bit more smart about it. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. I are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I will also be leaving a separate video about the history of the Ryder family. Couldn't wait to get started. Um in the playlist. Don't worry. I'm sure How I have done one before, and I will leave the video. No, I have done a non-commentary one before, to which I will leave in the video description down below, just in case you want to check that out. And again, I do want to apologize for hesitating and or stuttering with my sentence. Being an autistic individual, talk is not one of my strongest points, but I do try anyway. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be ending this episode here. When I come back to part two and picking this up, I will be getting it ready in the locker room and traveling down to Habitat 7 to see what the fuck is going on with it. So until part two, everybody, I've been Shadowstar or Marksman72 for my PlayStation 90. Stay safe out there, take care, and I will see you all in part two. Bye-bye.